What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a bunch of news stories and a few questions, so let's just dive into the tech news. First, our first story of the day is about these, the Galaxy Buds Live. They just got a new feature, and these are pretty old at this point, and they're still getting new features. The update rolled out either yesterday or today. I got it today. And the update, as you can see right here, adds the 360 audio feature implementation and improves system stability and reliability. So now you'll be able to hear kind of 360 what's going on around you uh, if you have that feature on for your buds. So yeah, download it now via the Galaxy wearable app for your new Galaxy or old, I guess, Galaxy Buds Live. Next up, you all know that I love foldable phones. Well, it looks like OnePlus is gonna be coming one out akin to an Oppo Find N. Now we should probably be seeing if they're gonna do this you would expect this year or next year i personally feel like if they do release a foldable phone one plus that is that it'll come out next year uh, but keep your eyes peeled if you're a one plus fan you get some uh, good news on the horizon potentially with a foldable phone coming out next up is about a folding phone that i'm very very interested in i might actually import it we'll see what happens with the price and release date and all that stuff but it is the vivo x fold and it looks like it's going to be coming out in an exclusive black color uh, from Ishan Argarwal and he also lists out the specs which we've seen before but if you haven't seen them we're going to see Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with an 8.03 big display it's huge guys I would love to try that out also the outside display will be 6.53 inches 4600 milliamp battery fast fast charging at 66 watts and 50 watts for wireless 50 megapixel main camera 48 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel portrait camera with an 8 megapixel periscope 5x 16 megapixel front and an end screen fingerprint sensor so very exciting stuff coming out from vivo so get ready guys i'm so I, I really hope it's a good price so i can import it and feel a little bit better about if i do import it next up is about the galaxy z fold 4 and galaxy z flip 4 and the software that that it's going to launch with and some of the features that it will improve upon when you get that update. So this is the tweet right here, coming from the Galox. He pulled this from, I believe Sam Mobile, because I saw it there as well, but he wrote it out so clear and concise, we'll use his, saying that One UI 4.1.1, because right now we're on U One UI 4.1, but 4.1.1, is already in development. Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 will be the first phones to have it. And he said you can expect improved multitasking, improvements in animations, and new features that take advantage of the bigger screens. Also, One UI 5 beta program could start in July. So some exciting software developments coming out, especially if you're a folding and flip fan, uh, you're gonna end up getting some improved functionality with multitasking and um, just overall usage of it, make it feel a little bit faster as well with some of the things that you can do on this foldable phone. And then beyond that, the five, One UI 5.0 beta coming out later this summer. Exciting stuff that'll also be available probably for most of the phones anyway uh, once that comes out. So good stuff coming in for a Samsung fan with their software. So there you guys go. That is your news for today. Your question of the day is what is a feature you'd like to see on One UI 5 come out that maybe we don't have? Let me know in the comments down Below, I personally, I just because I just thought of this question off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that I feel like it's missing per se. I think for me, I'd just like for it to be feel a little bit more snappier. Like when I go, when I jump over to my Pixel phone, I'm like, damn, this thing feels really, really snappy. Or when you use a OnePlus phone, it feels really, really snappy. So I guess I'd want some of that more snappiness to come over to the Samsung side of their software. But let me know about you guys in the comments down. Below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beam. First question of the day comes from Shizio Shazad said, do you ever have a feeling of skipping an iPhone for certain years? Yeah, I guess I wouldn't mind skipping it. It's very kind of redundant, the phones, but they're really, really good phones. I don't use them as much as I, as I would like to, but um, yeah, I wouldn't mind skipping it, I guess, because they're not all that exciting of an upgrade usually. 
Gamer guy says, when are we ever going to get One UI 4.1.1? I have AT&T and it seems like everybody has gotten it already. So obviously 4.1.1 isn't gonna come out until the launch of the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4. Um, I think you're talking about the 4.1 update or, or or iteration of the 4.1 update, but 4.1.1 is not out yet. Ravenwing finishes up all the questions saying, this is a two-parter. The power button on the Z Fold series is the best place I think to get uh, into the phone, he's talking about the fingerprint sensor, while the Vivo sh uh, be compatible with Google services, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Hey Greg, sorry for the early part with all this game. Okay, so basically, so I don't, it sounds like you only got one question, but I agree with you that if you want to start with part one, yes, fingerprint sensor on the side there on the power button is the best implementation. And then will Vivo X Fold have Google services? Yes, it should. Uh, one of the only companies that I know that doesn't have Google services is Huawei. Vivo uh, does, so you should be completely fine with that on the Vivo X Fold. Thank you for your questions, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Have a great weekend. Again, we'll be back tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. Two videos every single day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.